Folks, can I have your attention, please? As you know, you're here today for a Charvel Jackson event. This is a really, really cool stool. Let's hear it for Tom and his crew. Yo, right. Cool. Gotta be honest, to see this many Charvels in a single room, you have to go to the NAM show or to the factory itself. No one else on this planet has this many of these guitars. And the reason Tommy has this, we have some very compromising followers of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's back in the 60s. So he has no choice, yeah. Back in the 60s, last night more like. <laughs> As you've heard, we're doing a drawing today for a Charvel guitar. Would you like to see the guitar? Yeah. Yeah. Have, any, have, any, have any of you seen it? Yeah. It's not one of these, so I have it right here. <laughs> it's worth absolutely zero. No. Mike McGregor is holding the guitar. It's worth about 50 bucks. Now this is worth a lot of cash. So the winner, I hope you can play. If you can't play, you better learn. In fact, if you don't play, you need to take lessons at this store, because that's what they do. And because we've got you as a captive audience, if you leave and your name's drawn, you're not going to win the goddamn guitar. You've got to listen to my nonsense for a couple of minutes. But I'm going to keep it real brief. I've got three people next to me whose names are... Jesus Christ, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Bathrooms in the back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a little too revealing for me. <laughs> I, 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 I guess I missed something. Maybe. You did. To have this much fun, you normally have to go over to the tavern, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, you also see people dashing around for no apparent reason. I have three people here who know a lot more about Charvel than I do, and it's really easy to remember their names. This is Mike McGregor. Let's hear it for Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damned attractive man next to me. You might think it's Brad Pitt. It's not. This is actually Mike Hudson, who knows everything. He knows so much about Charvel, he should probably be locked up because there's something wrong with him. <laughs> if you point to any one of these these guitars behind me, he can tell you who built it, when, and if you've got map, if you've got Google Maps, he will point out exactly where the tree was that was cut down. <laughs> <laughs> Last but by no means least, yet another Mike. Can you please come over here, Mister? This is Mike Shannon. This guy is the man responsible for building the black guitar for Randy Rhodes that became the legend of which there were several behind us. It's quite staggering, actually, that was 30 years ago and he's only 35. This is Mike Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so you. For Mike. <laughs> also, when we do the drawing very shortly, I'm just going to have these guys talk a little bit about this sort of stuff. We have not just one prize, we have several more prizes. We've got a bunch of swag. So the grand prize will be drawn. Then the second prize is a romantic candlelit dinner at the tavern with Tommy Colletto. <laughs> <laughs> the third prize is two candlelit nuts. <laughs> now we've got a bunch of swag we'll be giving around, so please hang out. But without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to the three mics. All right. Say something. Hey, Nick Bocott, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, I just wanted to say something about being here at the Temple of Jackson and Charvel, the music zoo. Um, I look around here and I've talked to a lot of you guys one-on-one on one and everybody bought a guitar here. You know, um, so this is really a special place. Um, what, what these guys do here is, 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 is just so killer. They, they, they come up with their own runs, they have their own take on it. If you are wanting a custom shop guitar, you could pretty much find a configuration on this wall that, that will show you like basically anything we can do and then some. So um, really seriously these are just absolutely bitching guitars. Sorry kids. Um, that's, a, that's not even a cuss word in California. <laughs> I want to introduce Mike Cotson again and have him go through some of these runs. He's intimately involved with, uh, with Tommy and the zoo on these things. Romantically. Romantically involved. <laughs> Well, as Michael said, it's always fun to be here at the Music Zoo. We've been here multiple times now. And this series right behind me represents an oil finish series that we worked on way back in 2006, I believe. And it's been going strong ever since. In fact, it just continues to grow. These guitars are 
just along with Music Zoo's whole quest for tone. And that's what these guitars are all about. They're, they started with some mahogany uh, one hums and they've grown a little bit. They're doing them now in koa and ash. We've even done some with some figured tops on them, like this one with the quilt maple top. Um, the configurations are the whole gamut in terms of if you want different electronics and what have you. But one of the distinguishing features about these is the neck. And um, Tommy has been a Charvel fan from back in the day, brought in one of his guitars, and Mike Shannon meticulously reviewed that neck and respected it out and made a new one. So a lot of the things you'll find here at this store are unique to this store only. And it's, it's fun to work with a dealer that understands the custom process so well and knows the history of the guitars as well as Tommy does. So this just represents one of the custom series that you'll see here. Uh, moving down here a little bit is a, uh, a nitro. Um, we use the word tortured instead of the Fender Relic term. And you'll see what I mean by that when I hold this one up. But again, this isn't just about having a beat up looking guitar. A lot of the things that go into this guitar produce a tone that really, really replicates the guitars that Tommy grew up with in the 80s. So everything here is for a reason. And if you, have, if you haven't yet had time to play some of these, I hope you will later today. Um, on the other wall, moving over to Jackson, these are some guitars here that he's calling the RR 1.5 series. You'll see a combination here of um, Concord shape uh, along with newer. Well, it, you'll, you'll have to really come over and look at these because there's a lot of interesting things that have been blended together to make this 1.5 and they're phenomenal guitars. Uh, moving down this way, we have custom shop guitars that, as uh, Nick mentioned earlier, you'd normally have to come to a NAMM show to see this array of different things. Just to give you a very brief touch on it, this is a uh, Pablo Cut soloist really ergonomic playing guitar. Um, there's contours in the front and the back with a graphic by Deneen. This, a more classic 80s uh, graphic called Shattered Glass. Um, moving down here, again, uh, the iconic Dan Lawrence graphic on an archtop uh, mahogany guitar with a uh, figured maple three-quarter inch top and an incredible graphic. Again, an idea from the Music Zoo that goes back to some of the early guitars from Tommy's collection. Another Pablo Cut soloist with a Johnny Grez graphic and some EMG X-Series pickups. Uh, then coming right over here to some real fun pieces that Pablo Santana came up with, which are mini versions of his extreme take on some of our iconic guitars. So that's just a little taste of it. Please spend some more time checking out these guitars, and thanks very much for having me here Thank again. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, where's the guitar? Another one? <laughs> Drum ball! <laughs> Take it up. The winner is... John Schaefer. Holy crap! <laughs> Nice work. Nice work.